All right, guys. Well, it's official. Uh, we are live with our very first business opportunity event uh, for the UK. This is our amazing team of leaders that you guys get to experience today. They're going to talk to you. And we are actually the panel of speakers that are coming over to Birmingham in August to present you guys with some incredible training. So uh, we're, we're more than excited just honestly to just get to meet everybody that we've been talking to through social media. And we find this at every Beachbody event. It's like we see people in this little square and then when we meet face to face, it's like, oh my gosh, you know, it's like the best feeling ever. So we're excited about it. Um, and so for those of you that don't know me, my name is Melanie Mitro and I have been a coach for six years. I started my journey, oh gosh, with insanity in 2011 and my son Bryce, who is my second, was, was just about six months old and I was working to get off the baby weight. I had zero idea what each body was as far as a business opportunity or even just I didn't understand the challenge groups but I fell in love with the support system and the friendships that I made along the way and I found that I really had a passion for teaching other people how to eat better and how to make exercise a part of their lifestyle and I became a coach against my husband's better judgment and um and but i really yeah he did not want me to sign up as a coach and but i did anyways so i used my birthday money to become a beach buddy coach in july of 2011 and the sort of the ripple was i was inspired by the coaches that had gone before me that were achieving these incredible trips and were making this great income i started to become intrigued I started to learn about the business and it just lit me on fire. And this is hands down my passion in life. And over the course of the past six years, we've been the top team in Beachbody for the past three years. I've been a top 10 coach for four years. And I have all of these wonderful ladies on my team and I couldn't be more blessed to be here. I just feel very honored to be in a spot where I'm just surrounded by positive people. And so I am going to kick it off and just talk to you a little bit about what Beachbody is. If you if you just sort of want to understand the business model. And I'm just going to talk for a few minutes and then I'm going to turn it over uh, to Katie. She'll be right after me. But so Beachbody as a company started out in the infomercial business, which actually may be where many of you know Beachbody from. So they were all infomercials. Uh, Power 90. Does anybody remember like Power 90, uh, Hip Hop Abs? Turbo Fire, Turbo Jam, those were some of the very first products that Beachbody released to the infomercial business. But at the same time they launched this infomercial business and customers were buying the programs, they started a website and they called it Million Dollar Body and they had a message board on there where people could connect with each other. So people that were doing the products and programs could talk to one another. And this idea started to build up and they loved how they were seeing people support one another. And they thought about what if we created a network of coaches where people in fact that were getting results with the product could get, earn an income from helping other people through the program and getting res results that they wanted. So they created Team Beachbody, which became the network marketing side of the business. So basically, Beachbody, Team Beachbody is peer-to-peer -peer support. So it is me mentoring Jen to help her get results. And then Jen goes out and says, okay, I've gotten great results. I'm going to help Deidre get great results. And so, you know, it's this peer to peer. And then what happens is we get, and we get paid to do that, which is awesome. Uh, one of the biggest things that, that came out of the network being created is Shakeology. So Beachbody came up, came out with Shakeology, which is not a protein shake. It's not a diet shake. It's not a weight loss shake. Although it does help you lose weight because it is proper portion control and it does help you give you one meal a day you don't have to worry about. But the one thing that when Shakeology was created was that they weren't going to compromise the quality of the ingredients. So there are a lot of other shakes out there that may say that they are like Shakeology, but when you really dive in and you look at where Shakeology came from and the creators, which Isabel Deichler, if you haven't met her yet, you will. She comes to every summit. She speaks at a lot of events and she's very passionate about the quality of Shakeology, um, as well as Darren Olin, who is the co-creator. And so 
So they just give you this amazing superfood shake that can not only keep you healthy, but curb your cravings for sweets. It's, it help, gives you one meal. You don't have to think about it. I've been drinking it for six years now. It just is a part of my life. It helps cut my, my sickness in half. If I start to get a cold or, or start to get the flu, I will drink my Shakeology twice a day and it's like gone. It just is, it's magical to me. Honestly, it's just kept my husband and I very healthy. And so that is the one product that isn't available to the infomercial side. It is specific to the network side of the business. That along with other products like the three day refresh and the ultimate reset and the beach body performance line and the boost supplements. So there's not just workout programs, but there's a whole line of nutritionals that go along with the workout programs that we get to offer customers. And our mission is to help people achieve a healthy and fulfilling life. We are not a quick fix. We are not a fad. We really teach you to build a lifestyle that is of balance that allows you to just have lifelong health and fitness. And that's really what Beachbody, their mission is to do that and to set you up with not only just the support of a coach, but the proper nutrition and the fitness together. So all of those things go together to sort of just kind of explain what we do as, as Beachbody and as the company. So with that being said, Said, I think that's kind of an overview um, as the company. I'm going to turn it over to Katie and she's going to tell you what we do as Beachbody coaches. How do we support our customers in this process? Hey everyone, can you hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Very cool. All right. So I just did really quick slides for you. Nothing fancy. Just a little bit of a look and a glance into what we do as coaches. And I am very honored because I get to talk about what the heartbeat of our business really is, and that's our challenge groups. You may have seen people talk about this before, but I want to reiterate what Melanie was saying about when John Condon and Carl Deichler, our CEOs, created this. They actually created this business based on infomercials and based on fitness. And they're on these message boards with Million Dollar Body, and I'm so glad it's no longer known as Million Dollar Body. But when they were looking at these message boards, they were seeing people just rally together and help one another achieve results. And they were pushing each other, and they were making suggestions for one another. And Carl just kind of looked at that and said, there's a missing link here that's very obvious, and we need to include that. And so he created this idea of actually making it a network that would help people achieve results by coaching. And so in some cases, and I love reading what you guys said at the beginning, many of you guys are instructors, many of you have certifications, many of you are already familiar with Pio and TurboFire and Insanity, but what I really love is that coaching gives us an entire toolkit to help other people achieve results. And so this is why the company works. Number one, it's simple. It's nutrition that is simple to follow. It is fitness that anyone at any level can fall in love with. It's affordable and it's guaranteed. And I really want to reiterate that last one because I've been doing this for five years and I totally forgot to introduce myself. So I'll go back and do that in a second. But I've been doing this for five years, and in five years, I don't have a lot of people that are not satisfied. You know, it, it works like this. If you do the work, if you follow the nutritional plan, if you check in with your challenge groups, you're going to get results. And as a coach, you get to be a huge part of that. So how does the whole coaching part actually work? Well, Beachbody gives us an entire toolkit. I would be the worst coach in the world if I didn't have the Beachbody Toolkit. And so basically what the Beachbody Toolkit is, is giving us nutrition. So for us, that is Shakeology. Shakeology, as Melanie talked about, is our go-to. It makes nutrition simplified. When people don't know how to start eating clean, when they, they don't know what it looks like to actually have a... Um, filling diet that's loaded with nutrition, Shakeology is that thing that I can say to them, this is going to help us fill the gap so that we can make this long term. We don't promote a quick fix. We promote longevity. We promote a product and a program that makes this a lifestyle. And that's why this works. So as somebody who's been, been on this journey for five years, um, Beachbody is that toolkit. I can speak from experience because I am a work in progress. I am understanding of the fitness and, and seeing the results year after year of people getting amazing results and following the nutrition plan and then being a part of that system 
support system, which is our challenge groups. Again, with Beachbody On Demand, and if you don't have it, Melanie or one of the presenters, if we want to give them that URL for the Beachbody On Demand, uh, you can sign up for it. You get a 30-day with the UK, you get a 30-day free trial, and you can actually sign up for it, and you're going to be blown away by what is on Beachbody On Demand. Now listen, if you're a gym goer, it's got you covered. You put your earbuds in, and you listen to Sagi, and you go lift those weights. Or you go do your turbo fire and you let everyone in that gym say, what is that girl doing? I want a piece of that. But the key, the key to all of this is going to be the support system. We have an amazing support system. As a coach, our job is to be somebody else's cheerleader. How cool is our job to just watch somebody take their struggles and take their setbacks and take everything that weighs on them and begin to see results. That's our job. That's what we get to do on a daily basis. So where and how do we do it? Well, there's a couple options, and I'll show you how I sort of do it. Oh, that's my challenger, she's so cool. So um, our challenge groups are run one of two ways. So one way, when you become a coach, you are provided what's called a challenge tracker app. It's really cool. It basically is a downloadable app for your phone where it's going to send you alerts to make sure that you worked out, to make sure that you logged your Shakeology. It's also going to have um, your coaches' daily tips, motivation, recipes, all that kind of stuff that you can provide for your challengers. And what's nice is our marketing team does an amazing job of giving us all those tools that we can use with our challengers. So they help us create um, content that's going to allow our challengers to get amazing results. Um, another way that you can do it is actually by running Facebook groups. So um, I just put a picture in there, uh, just a real quick picture, but this is my girl, Abby, who is on her second week of the shift shop. And she just told us a lot about just things that are happening in her life. And she opened up to the group, but I put that in there because I want you to understand that everyone's on their own journey, right? Um, some people come to me and they have a hundred pounds to lose. Some people don't have any weight to lose, but they really need to get their mindset in, in a better place. Um, some people come to me and they just, they just want to tone up, but the environment that is created in these challenge groups, allows everybody to just push each other to succeed and so on those days that people don't feel like working out they go into their challenge group and they're like dang I need to, to I need to sweat for Shannon who is just struggling today and I'm gonna show her that that I'm, I'm there I'm rooting for her, I'm cheering for her if I have a bad day because my family maybe put me down I'm gonna use this group as a way of empowering myself and that sort of is the secret sauce. And, and that's why I think for me personally, I've been able to keep off um, 25 pounds over the past five years, which of course, I'll be honest with you, there's a couple five pounds that come around about every month that want to creep up on me and I, I don't enjoy that, but we're working on improving. But here's another cool thing about um, our challenge groups is this is your business, right? You can do anything you want with it. You can create your challenge groups to be whatever you want them to be because you are talking to a specific type of person that is going to want you as a coach. And so whenever you put your signature on it, you might run your groups um, thematically. You might run them with a book. You might run them as one program. Maybe everyone right now is doing the shift shop, or maybe everyone right now is doing um, hammer and chisel, or maybe you don't want everyone to do the same workout, but you want to theme it as like buns and guns. And, and I don't know, you add some push ups in there and you work your booty. I'm not really sure, but you can make it whatever you want it to be and have so much fun with it. And as long as you are helping people succeed, they're gonna fire you up. And once they fire you up, you're gonna be like, this is just what I wanna do all the time. And that is what I love about the challenge groups. And I don't even know, so Jonna, actually, if you go onto my timeline, Jonna actually just posted, I think she just hit to the 65 pound mark. So she's got an amazing weight loss. And then I do like uh, water challenges and they give you workout calendars so you know exactly what you're doing on any given day. Um, I know we, we sweat for other people. I know this morning our entire organization was, was sweating for a team member as well. Um, but here's why it works. And I know I'm talking really fast, but I, I just really, I really like what I do. And um, I love my challenge groups and my challengers. But 
in a nutshell, this is what we do for a living. There are a couple things that as coaches, we need to do to be successful. And just like in a fitness journey, if you follow the recipe to get results, it's the same with your coaching business. And this is the vital recipe, right? These are the behaviors that we encourage with our coaches. Number one, we invite, you know, I say to myself that if I'm not sharing this with other people, I actually think I'm a jerk because I just, I truly think that if it made my life better in some way, it's just something that I want to share. So, I mean, in, in your life, think about it. If you know where to get a really good cup of coffee or if you know where to get a really good haircut or, I don't know, your favorite peanut butter or whatever, you share that. It's the same with Beachbody. It's done something great for my life. I just feel um, almost obligated to share it and to pay it forward. Number two is to constantly be an in-progress example, and that's being a product of what we do, a product of the product, and knowing that this is a journey. We, don't, we just don't arrive at a goal weight and say, I'm done, I've arrived, I never have to work out again. It doesn't work like that. You're constantly a work in progress, and that goes into number three, which is you got to grow yourself, and a lot of that to do with mindset. When you are really embedded into these challenge groups, you start to shift your mindset too naturally because guess what? You're going to be hanging around some pretty positive people that are going to lift you up. Sometimes annoyingly, but that's okay. And then lastly, you're going to recognize the success of others and yourself. You're going to toot your horn once in a while and you are going to be able to shout out your challengers on their timeline, let them know how much they rock and let them know how blessed you are that you get to be a part of their transformation. But I'm going to tell you something else. You know, our team is different. And I'm just going to say this out loud that we put a huge emphasis on our challenge groups because this really is the secret to, to longevity. This is why we love what we do. It's because we're rooted in these basic ideas of helping people. And so in our organization, there's a couple things that you're going to be getting, I should say, and that is you're going to be a part of Coach Basics. When you enroll as a coach or a challenger, you're going to be a part of these challenge groups. You're going to receive sample scripts, um, whether they're free groups or samples of specialized groups uh, that people do. And you're also going to receive some trainings on how to um, grow your network even before the launch. So I know when I come to the UK, um, I know Melanie asked me to present on value funneling, which I'm really, really excited about and how that's going to help people actually get ready for an awesome launch when it comes around. So I have taken up enough time, but I am Katie. I totally forgot to say this. been coaching for five years. It is my full-time job and um, I'm a mom of two boys and a cancer survivor. So I think I, I flew. I'm sorry if I went over, but I tried not to. You did awesome. All right. Am I going now? All right. Hi, everyone. So my name is Deidre, and I'm going to introduce myself before I forget, because I can easily do that too. But I am a mom of two boys. I have three bonus kids. I like to call them bonus kids because I hate the word stepchildren. It makes me sound like the, I don't know. It makes me feel like weird. So I love having my bonus kids. I have three bonus kids and then I have one on the way. So we are going to be the Brady Bunch soon. And I'm a military wife. I'm a former ER nurse. This career that we are in has been amazing and has given me the opportunity to quit my full-time nursing job. And I started four and a half years ago. And this has been amazing. After my first year, I was able to make up for my full-time income as a nurse. And three years ago, I ended up just being able to do this full-time to be home with my kids. And it has been an amazing blessing. And now I have been a four-time elite coach, which means we've been at the top 0.5% of the entire company now for all four years that I have been in this business. And I'm a 12-star diamond coach. So what I'm excited to talk to you guys about today is social media, using social media to help grow our business and selling versus sharing. Um, one thing when I first started was I was really, really nervous to, to do this business because I'm like, I have to be a salesperson. I don't know how I'm going to do that because I, I don't sell things. That's not me. Um, and a lot of times when we think of salespeople, they're 
really like naggy and in your face and I don't want to be like that I'm not that type of person but I realized that that's not who we are and you know we are unique in our own ways with what we do as beach body coaches so you know as a beach body coach our job is not to sell things we are simply sharing and when I say sharing we are sharing our journey our fitness journey we are sharing what is working for us we are sharing what we are passionate about <laughs> so again we're not salespeople the selling is actually done by the advertising that is done and I know Melanie already touched base on that um, Beachbody pays a lot of money every single day to do advertising for us we have infomercials you will hear us on the radio and in the elevator I have heard us on the elevator <laughs> going places and a lot on the internet as well um, you'll hear about our different fitness programs that we have and Shakeology, which was already touched base on, but they are our products that change lives. And then we have tons of transformations that are also shown. So, you know, one thing I do love about our job is we are home fitness coaches. We are able to do this from home. Um, but it's also nice because we can use social media to our advantage to help people from all over the U.S., all over Canada and now in the UK, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, so when we're sharing our journey on social media, it is simply sharing our lifestyle that we are on or that we are starting on because I'm going to tell you guys, you do not have to be at your goal weight to start this. You simply have to be working on your own journey and that is important. So if you're sharing your journey, um, sharing your life a little bit and sharing what is working for you being real and unique, that's what we do. Um, so some examples that we share and post on social media is our workouts, um, healthy eating, the lifestyle that we have, things that are motivational and inspiring and things that we are passionate about. So for me personally, um, if you would go over to my fitness page or my, my regular personal page or my Instagram account, you'll see me talking about my kids, about my husband, um, being a former nurse, um, I like yoga, I like shopping, I, I'm passionate about my faith, and I love cheat meals and peanut butter. So, you know, we share everything that is real about us. Um, and, you know, I, I tell everybody this, in every training that I do with all of my new coaches, I always like to say we are not Beachbody. It is what we do, but it is not who we are. Um, so we're not just posting on social media, beach body, beach body, beach body, in your face kind of stuff. Um, but we're setting ourselves apart and sharing other things about our lives that we're passionate about. Um, so I had already said our job is to be real on social media. And I know sometimes it's hard when you're going through something and you have baggage, we're human, we all have baggage at times. We don't always wanna put everything out there. I'm not saying you have to share all of your personal business, but I will tell you guys that when you are vulnerable and you are able to share your struggles and your weaknesses, you're more unique and relatable to people. You know, I have gone through a divorce and that was hard for me to share. I was embarrassed at one time, but you know what? I also reached a lot of people that I was able to share when I was going through my struggles. I also talked about how I was overcoming my struggles. Same thing with Katie. Katie just talked about being a cancer survivor. Um, she went through a lot, but she didn't stop posting. She shared her struggles along the way and inspired thousands and thousands and thousands of people. Um, so, you know, when we're posting on social media, our goal is to post between three and five times a day on social media. And I know that can be scary. I was not one who was posting a lot on social media when I first started. I'm like, three to five times a day. What? Melanie told me that. And I was like, how am I going to do this? And I realized that it's, it's not that hard. Um, it's sharing your journey. It's coming up with things that you do throughout the day and you're being you. And I want you guys to know that you can create habits and this is just one of those habits that you create just like when you wake up in the morning and you brush your teeth it becomes a habit um, so it does get easier as you you know get into coaching and you do it more um, but I do set goals for myself and every day I try to post 
at least three times a day in the morning, afternoon, and evening. And the reason why I do this is because I want to not only change things up, but I want to reach people who may not be on in the morning, but may be on in the evening. Um, so I want everybody to see my post. And I know when people, I've heard people say, and I said it myself, if I'm posting three times a day, I'm going to be really annoying to people, but I guarantee you, not everyone lives on Facebook. And if they do, that's their fault. <laughs> um, but you do want to reach out to a lot of people. And just because one person sees one post doesn't mean that they're going to see the other. But as you are consistent with sharing your journey on social media, you're going to reach people. And whenever people see certain posts, it gets in their head and it makes them think more. And then, you know, when it's stuck in their head, it makes them more interested. So as you're posting about your fitness journey, it's going to help other people get more interested in what you're doing. Um, so, you know, I do like to switch things up. So it's not the same thing every day, but I like to stick to five or six areas um, or topics that I am most passionate about that just that show me and who I am and my personality. And again, I do this so I can have a following. Um, and I want my followers to know who I am. And, you know, there are times where I have gone a couple days without posting my workouts and I would have a message or a couple messages saying, is everything okay? I haven't seen your workout post. And I know Melanie has had this same thing happen to her and it's the consistency that you build. And it's a good thing that you know, you have a following and that people are watching what you're doing, even though you may think it's annoying to other people. Like there's my other workout picture. I have to do another workout picture, but people will actually love that and they crave that. And that's their motivation every single day. Um, so, you know, when I talk specifically about my lifestyle, I'm not just posting a picture of a fitness program or I'm not just posting a bag of Shakeology, but what I am doing is I'm posting sweaty selfies. I'm posting a video of me working out or me and my husband or my kids joining in on my workout and messing me up as I'm doing it. And that's okay. Cause that's my life. Um, you know, I used to post pictures of just Shakeology or me kissing my Shakeology cup, which that was when I had no idea what I was doing at the time. <laughs> you don't want to do that, but add value and you can share a recipe that tastes really good and add a really nice well-lit picture um, that, you know, is really cute and eye-catching. Um, or you can talk about what Shakeology has done for you. We love doing that. It has changed our lives. That's why we do it, and we're still here today after years and years later. Um, so adding value is going to be really important when you're doing your posts on social media so you can relate to other people. Um, but that is why we share versus sell. We don't need to sell. It's done for us. We're just simply sharing our lives and what we're doing. And I know there are a lot of fitness people already that, especially in the UK, that are joining us and trainers and gym goers. And I have to tell you, I was a gym goer. I haven't been because I have a lot of kids and <laughs> I'm just trying to get my life together, but I love the gym. Absolutely love the gym. I was a personal trainer myself and a figure competitor and I still love the gym, but you can do both at the same time. And there is nothing wrong with still sharing you going to the gym and you still loving lifting weights and doing your thing. So that's just part of you being unique and your brand. Um, so that's what we do. And, you know, as we're on social media, this is our opportunity to share with people, you know, what we do and give others the opportunity. Because like Katie said, you feel like a jerk if you're not doing it because everybody does deserve this opportunity because everyone deserves to have a healthy lifestyle. And there are tons of people everywhere that need our help. So I hope this helps. And I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to Val. Go ahead. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Val Bazo. I have actually been a coach for four years now. I started my journey back in May of 2013 as a military wife, stay home, stay at home mom of two little girls who were not in school yet. And my husband was actually deployed like all the time. And part of my story is one of the main reasons why I joined as a coach, I already knew that I loved beach body programs. I had done P90X, Turbo Fire, Insanity, but I never knew about the coaching opportunity until someone on social media sent me a message and asked me if they could send me some info about coaching. So um, at that time, 
I was realizing that my husband and I were in financial turmoil to the point that we were considering filing bankruptcy. So I, I saw this as so much more than just a, you know, a little side business or, you know, just joining a challenge group. I knew that that was part of it, as you've heard from some of our amazing coaches here tonight. But um, I saw it as something that I could provide for my family and I wanted to go all in and create a business that could change our lives for the better. So, um, you know, that's what I did. That was what I saw with this opportunity. So I decided to go all in as a coach right away. Melanie is, um, is, is my upline coach and I, I learned from the best because my topic that I'm going to talk to you about is trainings and how our team completely sets, um, sets us apart from, you know, really the rest of Team Beachbody and, and the rest of our organization. Um, and I can tell you firsthand that you are going to get beyond incredible support. So, you know, I can remember coming in as a brand new coach, having no idea what I was doing. Deidre just talked about social media. I had maybe 140 Facebook friends. I did not have an Instagram account. I did not know anything about the social media realm. Um, and my husband actually had to teach me how to copy and paste things on my phone or on my, on my computer. Like I was like illiterate in this stuff. Uh, so please understand that if I can do it, anyone can do this. Um, but, but I saw these trainings and, you know, as a brand new coach, you're just enrolled into our coach basics program is what we like to call it. So you get to learn in your first 30 to 60 days really how to do this step-by-step -step process and how easy this is all going to be for you as you're coachable and as you're teachable. And, and we, we teach this as almost a trade school, right? Like, so, you know, you go to college or, you know, university and, and you're being taught this new trade. And, and it's just, that's the mindset that I like to have my new, new coaches come into with um, and then you know you hit your first goals in your first 30 to 60 days that we help you set because ultimately you really don't know what you're doing when you first come in um, and then you move into our phase two training and then you know moving up the line of phase three and into then our leadership trainings and you're always going to have the access to every single guide that has ever been created every single script um I, we call them scripts you know it's really more just documents that have been put together of the how-to trainings we have our own website that has been created so you know you have a question and you're, you're always going to be a part of our our big team pages and there's always a plethora of information for you but you have the community and the support of you know what we call our, our little sisterhood our little tribe here that you're going to make friends you're going to never ever be left out in ultimately left field to the point that you feel like you're alone in this business and to me to me that made all the difference in the world whenever I started because I was alone and in my house with my two kids um, I felt shut off again you know military my husband was gone all the time we had actually just moved across the country so I didn't know anyone in my hometown and this business became more of a business this business I met my best friends who are now like just they're they're my sisters you know and we always say that our vibe attracts our tribe and that's ultimately what is going to happen for you uh, but the support that you will receive is unlike any that I can ever describe to you uh, so, you know, I'm just, I'm just excited for, for you guys to learn from us and to grow with us and to know that there is never, ever going to be a lack of resources for you in our trainings and, and, you know, in our guides and, and, and ultimately just within our entire organization. So next up is Jen Guthrie and uh, I'll turn it over to you. Yay! Hello, everyone. Okay, so my name is Jen Guthrie, and I'm super excited to be here. I've been a coach um, for just over two years, so um, you know I'm not I'm not quite as as veteran status over here as everyone else, but that's okay. So I am currently um, a dog mom and a wife. I do not have uh, any children yet, but that plays a key role in the story. So keep that in mind. And uh, I have spent the last four years, I graduated um, college in 2013, and I've been a teacher 
Um, I teach music in what I uh, primary school. I almost said elementary school, but for you guys, it'd be K through five elementary school. And I really enjoyed my job. And when I started coaching, I actually did not start with the intention of leaving my job. I think that's kind of a misconception. Some people think if I start this business, it means that my goal is to leave my job. And that's not necessarily true, but it could be. I started it because I wanted to have the option and have the ball in my court if it was ever to come to that. So for example, um, when I was talking to my coach, when I signed up, Val's actually my coach, um, you know, I said, well, one day I might want to stay home with my future kids. And she told me, well, if you start this now, that will be an option if you go all in and start this now. Well, here we are four years later. I actually just um, resigned from my teaching job this last year. So this is my first my second month as a full-time beach body coach. And it's great now because I do feel like we have these options for our family now that we would not have had otherwise. So I just wanted to share that little bit of background with you. So when I did start though, because I had a full-time job, I had a few concerns, you know, about, well, I work all day. How am I going to make this happen? How am I going to grow? I don't know how to do any of this. Um, and I don't know how to, I was not very good at time management at the time. And I was, I was also really worried. I'm not one of these people who is glued to my phone. You know, you see them, you see um, other people in other businesses that are constantly on, on social media, constantly on. And I was really worried about that. And I felt, you know, that because I had worked a full-time job all day, that my option was going to be to be glued to it when I came home. And I'm happy to tell you that that was not the case. So if that's kind of a concern weighing on your mind, don't worry. You're totally going to have time to do both and find the balance um, after just a short time. So my schedule as a teacher, and I know we have a few teachers in here, um, and, you know, most people work a nine-hour workday in America, not really sure. In the UK, you guys feel free to comment and share about that, and we can help you out. But I had to work from about 7 a.m. until about 4.30 p.m., and uh, a lot of times there was after school events, musicals that I had to put on. So an 18 hour workday was very common for me. So, um, you know, I had, I had this drive in my heart though, to make this happen. So it's kind of one of those things when your dream is bigger than, than the little things you have to put into it, it really never bothers you or gets into your way. So a tip here would be, you know, if you're, if you're married, talk to your spouse about it. Let them know why you want to do it. That's, that would be my biggest tip for getting started. Talk to your family and say, hey, I'm going to be doing this. Make sure you've planned your time. Like when I come home from work, I'm going to spend an hour building my business. And they'll, you know, they'll be understanding and they'll appreciate you coming to them to talk first. Um, so what I did was I woke up at 5 a.m., which back then for me, this was like not something that I did. I was more of a roll out of bed five minutes before I had to leave type person, but I got disciplined and I woke up an hour early and I would get my 30 minute workout done in the garage or in the living room because beach body rocks and I didn't have to go to the, you know, drive 20 minutes down the road anymore. So I would get up, work out. As soon as I was done, I would sit in this exact chair that I'm sitting in right now and work for 30 minutes. And as Val mentioned, and a few of the other coaches mentioned, you're going to have training. So you're going to understand exactly what you need to do in that 30 minutes of time. So then I would go to work and I would literally not touch my business for the entire work day. I was very separated in my, my business and my actual job. I did not want the two to cross lines. I just, you know, I couldn't, if I had some free time or if a class went on a field trip and I had the available time, sure, I would, I would do it. But there was never this pressure to feel like I had to do it all while I was at my current job and give somebody the short end of the stick. So that worked out great too. I, um, came home and my husband's job worked out perfectly where I had an hour and a half between when I got home from school and when he got home. So that helped too, because I never felt like I was missing out on time with my family. So I'm here to tell you, basically the point of this whole conversation is to tell you that you can do it all and it's not going to be stressful. It's going to be fun because you have this awesome community of people who have gone before you. We've already made the mistakes. We've already uh, figured out all of the, the discipline and the hard things and we've learned the time management and we've learned how to condense it into pockets of time that are going to be doable for you. So I break my still to this day, I break my work down into like 10 to 20 minute tasks and I check them off the list and you know, I'm transitioning to full-time coaching now. So it's a learning curve, but what I don't get to today just goes at the top of the list for tomorrow. I'm never stressed about my business. I try really hard to just be um, going with the flow, but you know, it, it's pretty awesome 
what can happen when you decide that you want something bad enough. And of course, two years ago, did I think it would actually happen and that I'd be here right now talking to you about this? No, you know, it was, I was like, oh, that'll probably never happen to me, but we'll just see. But you know, here it is. So if you're kind of feeling that fire in your gut and like that passion, and, and you just want to help people and you just really think that this could turn into something amazing, I'm here to tell you that it can. So I hope that eases your mind a little bit if you were nervous about maybe having another job or full-time job um, and getting being able to fit this into. You can. So I'm excited. Thank you for listening. Hopefully I didn't go over. I tried to, tried to cruise through there really quick. And I am tossing it over to Alyssa. Hey guys, let's see if you guys can all, I'm ooh, really big now. All right guys, how are you? My name's Alyssa Shoemaker. I've been a coach for four and a half years now. Um, I'm a mom of three and I was a registered nurse. I worked in the pediatric ICU um, for gosh, almost 15 years before I became a coach. Um, I kind of fell into this business after um, being in a closed like Facebook group and helping to support and motivate some other friends, nurses that I was working with. and um, my coach, Mel, who's also here from Pennsylvania, got added into the group, and I just kind of started following her on, on Facebook, and um, I always had a really big passion for fitness. I've always really been into health promotion, disease prevention, that kind of thing. Obviously, being a nurse, I um, saw firsthand, you know, how bad um, the healthcare system is, and just like how bad our food supply is, and so... Um, when I was presented with this opportunity, I thought that it would just be awesome to run online support groups and online challenge groups. And I had just lost my grandfather to heart disease and diabetes. And so I thought that it was my way that I could just kind of like give back to other people. Um, again, I was busy. I was in school for my master's getting my nurse practitioner. My youngest was nine months old at the time. So my oldest was six. Um, and yeah, I was just really busy when I started this, but I wanted to make a difference and I had a really big passion for helping others and I really loved to run my challenge groups and check in with my girls and see how they're doing and just like help them through those hurdles. And um, so I basically kind of went all in, but I didn't say that I had like goals to, to quit my, my nursing job at all um, because I was still getting my master's. So it came to a point for me in my business, I was nine months in, it was in August. I started in January. And um, my business was just getting too much for me to really handle. I wasn't really wanting to go to work uh, because <laughs> I would want to just be working on my business all the time. And I just realized that I really couldn't do both the way that I wanted to do it. So for me, that's at that point that I decided to leave my nursing uh, career. I should say that I'm still a registered nurse. I'm still certified with everything. Um, but to actually leave the workplace and just start focusing on uh, my business and, and my future for my family. So that was nine months into my business and this is four and a half years later and um, we've created a two-time top 10 team, four-time elite team and um, it's just been a really, really incredible, incredible journey for all of us. And I will say you guys before I kind of get into the compensation plan and talking to you guys about that, that you know, what is so magical about this opportunity is that if you engage in the vital behaviors that Katie was talking about and, you know, doing the personal development and building those relationships and just sharing your story and just being vulnerable, um, it changes your whole life. You know, you come over, you get over fears that you um, might not have realized that you had before. You're able to really help other people. Maybe you've gone through some difficult times within your life. I struggled with anorexia. I struggled with bulimia anxiety um, and just learning self-care and be able to help other people that have been through that same kind of stuff so just really helping them with that and just sharing my story um, and that's what makes it so unique right it's just kind of being vulnerable doing your personal development and understanding that you know your mess is really your message and um, every day waking up for the people that need you and that's what this is all about um, the other thing obviously is be able to live your life the way that you want to live it on your terms and I think that uh, most of us don't realize that that's possible um, but you know, you have a group of people right here that are showing you that, you know, you can really, you can really have it all. You can be a good mom, you can be a good friend, you can do a lot of stuff for, for your community, and you can also make money and let, have a life of freedom. Like, you really can do it all. So I'm so excited for all of you guys. Um, all right, now, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about the compensation plan, because I'm sure you guys want to know how the heck do we make money, right? Um, 
first things first. So you get a 25% off of anything through Beachbody. So you automatically get a 25% discount just becoming a coach. So we do have people that just love Shakeology that sign up and they really want to, you know, to save money on their Shakeology. And so they sign up and it's something we call like a discount coach. They save 25%. But as coaches, we have 25% off of anything. So we can really purchase anything that we want for 25%. Um, the other thing is that you make a 25% commission on everything. So all the products, you make a 25% commission from any of the videos, um, also any of like our performance line or any of the other supplements that we carry. Um, with your Shakeology, you get like a $30, um, which is the 20 percent you get a $30 commission. And then we also have something called Challenge Pack. So with your Challenge Pack, they are going to come with your fitness program. A lot of our people sign up with the Beachbody On Demand, obviously, because you want to have access to everything, get those meal plans, get those nutrition guides um, together. And it also will come with either Performance Line or it'll come with your Shakeology. And what Beachbody does is it bundles that together. So it's going to give you, you know, your portion fix, your shaker cups, your Beachbody on demand your challenge app app um, your supplement and it's going to give you a discounted price so all of our challenge packs then have base commission so for example say you have a hundred and forty dollar challenge pack you're going to sell that you're going to make a forty dollar commission um, and then they start anywhere from hundred and forty dollars and they go up all the way to two hundred and five dollars um, so you get a straight commission on all, all the challenge packs with it as well. So it's a better deal for our customers and it's a great deal for the coaches as well. Um, and then that's for people that want to make income based on commission. So say that you came into this and you're like, I really don't want to build a team at all. I just want to, you know, sell challenge packs or sell programs or whatever. Um, you can do that. What I'm going to tell you what's going to happen is you're going to have these amazing people that come out of your challenge groups and they're going to want to be coaches. And just like myself, I had no um, intent on growing a team at all, but I um, ended up growing a team because people got really excited about what, what they were doing and they wanted to pay it forward to other people. So I kind of then fell into building a business and Mel reaching out to me and saying, Hey, like you should probably become Emerald one of these days. You got, you know, these girls in your challenge groups. And that's kind of when I turned my focus to, to building a team. So when you decide, like, if you want to build um, a team, you also will make money off of your team cycle bonuses. So each rank that you rank advanced to, Emerald being the first rank, a lot of our coaches hit that within their very first month. That's having two people that would want to join the business with you. Um, a lot of times that's like our family members or our husbands or a good friend. Um, so that right there is going to get you entered into our bonus program, the team cycle bonuses. And when you're an Emerald coach, you're going to make a $14 cycle bonus at Ruby, which is the next step up. You're going to make a, a $16 cycle bonus and then at diamond you'll make an $18 cycle bonus um, and basically what that means is like as you're building your team every time that one of your legs has 100 in volume and another leg has 200 in volume you're gonna cycle at that $14 at $16 or that $18 and I know that you're probably all right now going oh my god this is so confusing as it comes to team cycle bonuses. And I don't expect you to know all of this today. I just want you to know that that's where your residual income is going to come in. And, you know, with this business, I think that it's really important to point out to you guys that, you know, I can easily sign up somebody as one of my challengers, have them in my challenge group. And then every time that they, you know, purchase Sh Shakeology again, I make a commission on that Shakeology. But the difference is, is when I sign up somebody as a coach, I might make an initial commission off of the product that they're going to be using, um, most likely Beachbody On Demand, but I also, that may going to be forfeiting the rest of my commissions from that coach, unless I help them build a team, unless I help them get results. And I think that that is what is so incredible about this, is that I don't just sit back, like I don't just sit back and collect money. Um, everything that I do is because I'm helping other people. So, you know, I make money off of my challenge groups because I'm helping somebody get that tool and then I'm providing the support I'm providing that accountability which is really priceless and which makes your challenge groups work um, and then also for my coaches right I can't just sponsor coaches and not have calls like this not have trainings not have tools um, for people to be able to tie into so really your income is going to be a direct reflection of the number of people that you're helping within this business which is why I think you see so many servant leaders you know you see teachers you see healthcare providers you see personal trainers you know because of the fact that we're really in a service-based industry. Um, the other way too is so once you start to rank advance uh, and you start to hit um, the different bonus cycles, um, 
or I guess rank rank advancements. Um, when you become a two star diamond coach, you are, are you are able to really start to tap into the different bonuses. And what the corporation does is it takes one percent of entire sales within the company and it splits it amongst these four different ranks. So at two star, at five star, at ten star, and at fifteen star, you are eligible to get bonuses. So the company actually splits their earnings with these four different groups and you know your bonuses start anywhere from like $800 to like $3,000 to like $17,000 to like $50,000 uh, for the bonuses. And then obviously like trips, I know you guys see us going on trips and stuff like that a lot. Um, every year, just for us to help three people a month, we got earned trips too. So for me, my first year, I had not been on any trips. I'm a huge traveler. If you guys follow me, you'll know that I'm all about that freedom lifestyle. And so I saw a cruise go across the screen and I wanted to be on that cruise. My husband and I had not been on cruises together. And so I set that as my business goal is to get on that cruise. Um, and so I literally, you know, put my head down, decided I was going to do what I set out to do as a coach and that's to help other people. And I helped three to five people every single month. And I weren't, I earned that first cruise um, trip. And now four years later, I've earned every single trip that Beachbody has offered. I've taken my kids and my family on all of those trips to, and I just think it's such an amazing, amazing reward system. Um, there is actually, though, because I'm not going to go into all of this, uh, but there's actually 13 different ways that you guys can earn with Beachbody. So I just kind of went over, like, some of the um, very, like, basic ways for you guys to be able to earn but there's a lot of different ways that you guys can be able to earn with Beachbody honestly the sky is the limit it's what you put into it so we're super excited for all of you guys and I am going to I think turn this over to my girl um Jamie Messina from Boston what's up sister so um I love you guys I hope to see you guys all soon and I'm gonna hop off of here all right. Hi, guys. My name is Jamie. I've been a coach for about five years now. And honestly, I just um, stumbled upon it. So I was in a really bad spot in my life. I was suffering from anxiety and depression pretty badly. And I decided I was going to do something about it. I was going to get my health and fitness in order. And I had a friend who happened to point me in the direction of a challenge group. And I just joined it because I had nothing else to lose. And well, I definitely didn't plan on becoming a coach at first because my anxiety was so horrible that, um, you know, as that wallflower, I was like hiding in the back of the room. Um, speaking here right now would probably like my face would be right, bright red and hot. I mean, it's a little hot right now, but it's like way better. Um, and so I definitely did not want to do the coach thing. But what happened was as I started to change my health and fitness and get involved with these awesome positive people that you heard speak on here today, it totally just changed my, um, personality really just made me happier, healthier in all aspects. And just, I couldn't hold it in anymore. I just had to share it with other people because it was something that I didn't think would ever change in my life. And it totally did. Um, and not through anything that doctors did for me, it was really just being around this group of people. So I had to get out there and share that. And that's why I'm here. I was honestly, I was working for my family business. I was going to, uh, take it over. Easy, easy money there for me right now. And I wanted nothing to do with it. I had to be here. So that being said, my job here tonight is to tell you what the next steps are. Cause I know there was a lot of information shared, um, a lot of good information, a lot of energy, and I'm sure it's very overwhelming, especially since this is all just brand new to you guys. So first things first, first step would be to contact the coach that invited you here. Um, reach out to them, let them know what your level of commitment uh, would be. Let them know, you know, what your goals are for this. And that will help you to start the mentoring process with your coach. Um, and then I think uh, second thing would be to get registered for our August event. We are awesome. As you can tell, we're a fun group of people and we want to get to know you guys. And so we're coming to you in August, August 20th um, to Birmingham and to so you guys got to get registered for that event so we can take it a step further really we want to get to know you guys because I think our markets are going to be a little different you know our cultures are a little different and we want to know what your needs are so that we can provide the best training for you so you guys can just when the opportunity becomes available for you you can just go after it you know in your own culture and the way that you guys you know we want to work with you the best way we can to help you be successful so Get registered for that event. Please put it in the um, links in here or in that group. Also, 
Um, so if you're not in the UK training group already on Facebook, which a lot of you, most of you are, um, reach out to the person that invited you here. We'll make sure that you're in that. And um, so set your calendar every Wednesday at 9 p.m. And it's uh, your time. I don't really know what the terminology for that is, but your time. Uh, <laughs> every Wednesday, they're going to have a call, team calls, just getting you guys amped and prepped and ready to go. Um, so, uh, just talk to the person that invited you here for that. And lastly, our company as a whole is coming there, um, for a launch event in October, uh, October, I forget the date right now. Oh, October 21st, we're launching officially in London. It is at the London Hilton on Park Lane and, um, everyone will be over there. It's a big event. Shanti is going to be there. And even at our event in August, we're having a group workout and everything, which is awesome. But Shanti will be at the London event, and we want you guys to get involved in that as well. Um, on July 31st, you'll be able to register for that. Again, best way to get involved in all that is to talk to the person that invited you here and just make sure that you're in all the groups necessary so that you're ready to roll. And um, I want to see you guys on the 20th and get to know you all. And uh, hopefully you can show us a little bit of your culture and everything like that. So that's all I got. I'm going to pass it over to Melanie to close it out for us. Um, thanks, guys. Awesome. This was an awesome call. And if you guys have any questions at all following the things that we talked about today, now is the perfect time to go ahead and ask those questions so that we can make sure that they get answered. Uh, so when we come over in August, this is kind of what's going to happen next. We're going to actually put out a survey because we would like to know what are the top three to five things that when you come to the Birmingham event, if you could learn these three to five things, you would feel like it was the best use of your time. So you're going to see that survey come out. We're going to send it out. We're going to post in the Facebook group. We're going to send it out through email. And we would love to get your responses back as soon as possible so that we can make sure that as we're planning that we are definitely hitting all of the pain points for you. And the one thing as I read this thread tonight that's, that jumped out to me was time management. And that is probably the one thing that all of us as panelists tonight speaking to you are like, yeah, we, that really took some discipline to get that time management down. And maybe even it's still something that I don't want to speak for everybody, but I think we all still work on time management a little bit too, right? It is definitely a work in progress. So we've got it recorded. What I'm going to do is I will send the link out to each one of the panelists that are on here tonight. It will get posted in our UK Facebook group. We will be updating you with the call that will kick off next Wednesday that will start sort of our training calls and then we'll be reaching out to you guys and just helping you to get set up and get started but the bottom line is this is this business has impacted each and every one of our lives it has given us not only some of the best friends we've ever made but some of some experiences that we never thought were even possible when we started coaching it has given us a platform and a voice to be who we really are and it, actually I have goosebumps even just talking about it right now it just gives us a platform and I can say that some of the doors and opportunities that we've been blessed with over the past years that we've been as coaches were something that probably not, none of us would have dreamt up in our wildest dreams. And so we do find that this is just more than a network marketing business. This is our family. These are some of our closest friends. And we're so blessed to be able to bring it to you guys and just share it. And we just want to know how we can equip you with all of the tools that you need to succeed. So we are excited and I am I'm just going to read these questions and if you don't have any questions you're free to stay um, but anybody want to field some of these questions with me yeah I'll talk about because Farrah brought up a really good question about just being more conservative so there's a couple things number one you don't have to publicly post anything your challengers aren't necessarily going to publicly post their selfies and they don't even have to take them. You know, you have the option of running a Facebook group or a challenge tracker app. And some people are just more comfortable tracking their progress, their workouts, um, or their Shakeology without necessarily taking a picture. And that's totally okay. I think it comes down to your personal preference, the way that you coach, the way that you run your groups and the culture you sort of create and you kind of come into that I think a little bit over time but there's no expectation that it has to be done nobody has to post selfies now as for the coaching aspect I think it just comes down to the way that you want to present yourself on social media and taking into consideration 
what your target demographic is. Now, if your target demographic does not want to see a lot of skin, they don't want to see you in a sports bra, then you're not going to post like that. I just think it really is going to take a little bit of time for you to sort of say, okay, well, what, what is that person going to look like? And what type of person do I want to work with? And then once you nail that down, and, and I think too, even over the trainings that we do beforehand, you're going to sort of see that a little bit anyway. You're going to kind of realize the type of person that you're going to draw into what you're doing. Did that answer your question? And anyone else, chime in, please. Yeah, and I think it's the same thing here with us in, in the U.S. I will tell you nine out of ten coaches when they sign up are like, I've never posted a selfie on Facebook in my life, and I don't even know how to take one. And so that's a valid concern that we all are confronted with. And you'll find, like Katie said, you'll find that rhythm and flow for you too. So. Yes. Um, there was a question about Shakeology that I saw about the Shakeology and some of the nutrition packs. You know, it sort of is your own opinion. Now, with Beachbody, our flagship product is Shakeology. And so when it comes to income opportunity, it is, it's probably something that you're going to want to consider. Number one, you know, trying it first. If you're open to that, you don't have to promote the three-day refresh. If you, that's not a product that you use, that's perfectly fine. But I would say that Shakeology is rather important to our livelihood and to our business. So I, I would definitely say that if it's not something you're open to, um, you're going to have to look at how would, how are you going to support your customers? Because it probably won't be the same as, as kind of the business model presents. Because we really do get people set up with not just the fitness program, but with the Shakeology. And we really package that together. And everything we do talks about working that in there. So um, so I think that's a conversation that you definitely want to have with, with the person that you're in contact right now as to how that would kind of work for your business too. So I think that's a discussion you'd want to have. Um, I love Shakeology for sure. It's an incredible product. I've been drinking it for 18 months. Awesome. So how are you getting Shakeology if you can't get, I'm just curious. I think more curious than anything because I know that we're not allowed to ship it over there at this point. So I didn't know if there was a place that you guys were able to get it to. Shipped to me is somebody from the U.S. shipping it? I was just curious. <laughs> Can you please explain the joining fee? Are they monthly fees? Oh, so, oh, oh, there's a website. Well, that's interesting that sells it, healthandsupplements.biz. Okay, all right. Well, that's very interesting. Okay, um, we will do, yes, we are actually bringing with us Shakeology performance line. We are bringing with us some Beachbody swag and t-shirts when we come in August. I know I'm really excited about that. So we will make Shakeology. We'll have a bar for you guys to try it so that you can all try it. Um, the joining fee is I want, okay, so let's take this one with a grain of salt. I believe that it will be the same UK and US $40 coach signup fee. That's always waived when you buy a challenge pack. In the US, there is a $16.95 US dollar coach monthly fee, which is just your membership fee, and you pay that regardless. There's no annual fee and there's no cancellation fee. So that's the information I have right now for you. So, well, if it changes, as soon as we know anything different, we will let you know. Oh, yes, we were going to take names. Do we have a way to do that very quickly? I can pull um, the t attendee list and we can do it. And then we yeah. could do some live in that, in our group and kind of give do some giveaways. We want to do that. I forgot yeah. about that. We had swag yeah. on, guys. Totally forgot. All right. We've got, what did we say we were giving away? Do we remember? Performance line, a t-shirt, I think some daily sunshine. So yeah, we are totally hydrate. Oh yeah, we had hydrate and energize. So we will do that. We're going to just do some fun stuff afterwards to kind of keep that excitement going. So, all right. Anything else? Melissa, I see you waving, but I don't hear you. No? Yeah, me. Hi guys. Okay. So I just wanted to talk about quickly, Mo, can you explain the training that's going to start next week? And was it, we doing that for a month, but so they know every Wednesday to log in at four o'clock their time. Yes. So every Wednesday at four o'clock, it'll be the same link every single week. So what I'll do is I'll post a little image for you guys. Um, it will go on every Wednesday 
ongoing at this point. So that'll be like our team calls. We have our US team calls every Monday night at nine o'clock. So like we're gonna kick it off next week. We're gonna, these, I'll just rattle off the topics. I can't tell you exactly what order they'll be in, but these are some of the topics we have just brainstormed, very rough draft right now. So obviously when you start, you have to have a clear why and you have to set some goals for your business. So we're definitely gonna address that as one of the first few topics. We are gonna talk about pitching to your niche and finding your market and you know, so that you're not out on Facebook just or Instagram just kind of spewing information, but you, you have a direction of the people that you wanna speak speak to. We are going to talk about the value funneling and running free groups. We will talk about social media, so ways to build your business on Instagram and a like page. We will also talk about adding and building a list too. So those are just some ideas that of things, and we'll definitely add to that. But the other thing is if you can't be on live, they'll always be recorded. So if you can't be on live, you can catch the recording and we will actually start a file. It'll be a file in the actual Facebook group where we will just add resources for you that all of us together will just be adding resources on different topics throughout, you know, from now until the launch. And then once we launch, we're actually going to do a big training group together. So your new training will be done together with all of us and you'll get to learn from all of us together. So that. Melanie, can you clarify your time? Is it for, you said 4 p.m. Did you mean 4 p.m. U.S.? It'll be 9 o'clock. So it's the same as what it is now, like tonight, but it will be starting next Wednesday. Exactly. Okay. That is correct. That is. This will all be stuff that you guys can do now. So, you know, we're going to help you guys start to um, start to grow your following now. How do you can create some free groups? How do you start to build those relationships? Starting to work on your transformation. There's a lot of stuff that you guys can do now for your business so that when we actually launch in October, you guys are going to have your legs up. You guys are going to have a following already. You guys are going to have a social media presence. You guys are going to have teams already getting ready to go. And so that's what we're trying to help you guys with now is laying that foundation so that when we actually launch, on October 21st, you guys are like up and ready to go. And now we're starting to train your teams because you guys are going to be the experts, the founding coaches, and um, really helping, you know, your teams over there and being that go-to person. So that's kind of what the training is going to be directed at. I know we've been adding a lot of questions, but there's a lot that you guys can do now. Pretty much everything that we do now, except actually sign up somebody, um, is what you guys can be doing now to really build your businesses. So absolutely. All right. So thanks guys so much for being a part of that call tonight. I am super excited and um, we'll keep you posted with everything that is to come. I'll get this recording set up and sent out and then we'll see you guys next Wednesday for our very first team call. So have a wonderful evening and thank you so much for giving us an hour and seven minutes of your time. We really appreciate it. So have a great night and we'll see you guys later. Bye everybody.